High school students from the area recently had the opportunity to learn more about managing money. The Attleboro Area School to Career Partnership held their annual Credit for Life Fair last week at Wheaton College. The event allowed juniors and seniors from Attleboro, North Attleboro, Foxboro, and Norton to learn about financial management through an interactive workshop. School to Career Partnership Executive Director Christine Lachance spoke with us about the fair. Hi, I'm Christine Lachance, Executive Director of the Attleboro Area School to Career Partnership. And we're here today at the um, Credit for Life Fair, our sixth annual Credit for Life Fair. We have invited 430 students to come from four different schools that we support. It really is a financial literacy event. We're here to help them expose them to careers. Uh, we get them a lot of times their first jobs and they're earning their first paychecks and the first thing I ask them is, so what did you do with all that money? Um, and a lot of them don't have a lot to show for it. So we said, well, we should really be educating them about not only getting that job, but what to do with the money that they get from that position. So that's why we thought a financial literacy event would really round off everything that the School to Career Partnership does. The partnership is made up of four different communities, Attleboro, North Attleboro, Norton, and Foxboro. Um, all those schools have committed to the School to Career Partnership. Um, they participate on the board, um, and they also contribute to the partnership for, so that we can put on programs like this. The 400 and plus kids today uh, make up of juniors and seniors. Foxboro, for instance, takes their whole senior class every year. Other schools decide to break it up, um, really depending on the classroom and what students are in that classroom. So this is the sixth annual fair, and what you're going to find and why I got involved with this is this is a journey. So you've heard the saying, there's no such thing as a free lunch. Today you get a free lunch, and you don't have to take a standardized test. There's no MCAS, SATs, whatever. To begin with, this is a simulation. This is not a test. You want to make sure that you think things through, use decision making, don't copy your neighbor. Some, some quick things, uh, do's and don'ts, don't be afraid to get the wrong answer. At the end of this, you're going to have the ability to go to, to the credit booth and get corrections. There's no reason to feel like you have to have 100% on this. I man the reality check, uh, and our, our role was at the end, after they hit all the other booths, to make sure that they have basically not spent more than they earn. This is my third or fourth year doing this, and each year the kids have gotten a little bit better of understanding uh, how to balance a budget and how to make uh, make everything work with the income they make. I would say the first year I did it was probably 50-50, uh, that half of them were overspending and needed help, and I would say now we're down to probably 10 or 15 percent who are truly uh, in a bad place when they come to reality check, and most of them are, are, are doing pretty well. It's a little bit eye-opening for them. I, I think the vast majority will be uh, five or six steps ahead of where they were a few hours ago. I'm Kayla Seppi. I applied as a pharmacist and I started with a salary of about I think seventy five thousand a year and I went around to the different stations and it kind of gave me a sense of just how to manage my money and what to buy. Um, it gave me a good idea about insurance. I came in um, saving I think I had about $800 left of my budget at the end. Uh, I'm Russell Hansen from Norton, Mass. Okay, how was the day today? It was good. I mean, I'm in debt. so. Okay, so you got to rethink some things? Yeah, definitely. Has this helped you out any? Um, a little bit, like some of the credit card things and like the loans I have to take out, like how I'm going to have to factor that in. Give you a little more respect for, for your folks at home on how they have to deal with bills? Uh, yeah, definitely. I mean... There's a lot of crazy stuff on this that you know you had to like get before like when you get like when you get certain types of things you have to get other things and it's just kind of right. So it's good to take this before you actually get out into the real world. Yeah, definitely. Now, actually, in the last two years, um, a majority of our schools have put in place a financial literacy class, um, which we are thrilled about. And it is tied to our Credit for Life Fair. For those schools that have that classroom, um, a lot of those students do participate. So this isn't a one-day event. Um, many of these kids here today will go back to the classroom, review their budget sheet, talk about the experience. So it isn't just a, a, a one-day uh, event. But we do hear from the juniors. I like the fact that a junior, because senior year, you're, 
you're making financial decisions already, whether it's going off to college or that job that you're going to take coming out of high school, and we don't want it to be too late in that in that time frame. So, you know, I love to hear when kids come up and go, oh, that's why my mother bugs me about the cell phone bill, or um, she has to pay that every month. <laughs> Cable, when you turn on the TV at home, you just take for granted the fact, or the internet you have at home, and what that costs. So, it really opens your eyes. <laughs>